All right, guys, I'm getting to work snow plowing, and we are building a ski hill right now. Oh, my gosh, check out how much snow we're pushing. And we got two feet of snow in Elm Creek last night, and Mako is just arriving, I think. Let's go see if he's ready for work. Oh, my gosh, he brought a trailer with him. I guess it's either good or bad. Echo, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Ann. How are you? How good, are you? good. Uh, wait, you just got Great. back from Michigan, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's in the back? What do you got back here? Uh, my uh, cars. Cars? What kind of cars are you hauling in this snowstorm, man? Uh, you know, the Mercedes I had. Mercedes? Pop it open. I want to see what it looks like. Come on. All right. Then I also bought that Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger? Yeah, it's a nice car. Whoa! Check those things out. All right, that's sweet. Is that the AMG GT Black Series? Yes, sir. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, those are nice cars. I I, th I wish I had one of those, but, you know, on a tight budget this year. So, unfortunately, we can't get one. But, yeah, guys, uh, we are going to go snow plowing today. Mako, what do you want to drive? The new snowblower on that tractor? Yeah. All right, all right. Yes, that's sir. all you. Uh, just, just leave the truck here, and then we'll get to work on our lot, and then we'll head out. Sounds like a plan. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get back in the Oshkosh. So today, we are going to be heading out in a little bit older style vehicles because we uh, purchased this gigantic Oshkosh. This is a, a massive snow plowing vehicle. It's got all the attachments on it. We got the big plow, and then we actually got another truck inside. I bought both these on Facebook Marketplace. Check it. It's a Chevy C70 with, like, this bale trailer. I don't know. You can use it for storage, too, but it's, it's pretty sweet. It's a 6x6. Six six. We've got the front plow on it. I think it was a clean setup. It's a mint condition. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, he's going to use the tractor today. Check out the snowblower. Hey, Omaka, let's see what this thing's got, man. Back up. Back up to this massive pile. Oh, my gosh. All right, this is what happens. Here we go. Oh. All right. Hopefully, he takes it out. I think it's a strong snowblower. Yeah, look at that thing. Just eat it. Oh, my gosh. Dude, it's just throwing it across the parking lot. Yeah, this is going to be a good upgrade in the business. We're going to get a lot of jobs done faster with this thing. Whoa. All right. I might have to, you know, get rid of the Oshkosh. I got some uh, snow banks here for you, Mako. I'm going to take them out. So, yeah, we got to drop down the plow. It's just kind of cool to have some older style vehicles, you know. The plow trucks, the GMC 2500s, can only do so much. So, I had to get a little bit heavier duty vehicles. This thing does uh, help a lot, too. And it's a rolling coal. Check out how much smoke we're spitting out there. Wow. All righty, let's see what our competition looks like against these snow banks. All right, we're able to push them, but it's definitely tough on the truck. Look at this thing. It's pushing right along. Okay, I think uh, we're just going to do like a normal job on the parking lot. Nothing special because we do have to get out. Look at that gate opens up automatically, and then we're just going to push it into the street. Oh, no. I just drove over the snow that I was going to push in the street. Mako, I'm stuck, man. I need help. you got to be kidding me. This is why I don't like old vehicles. We already got this thing stuck, man. All right. We got to wait till Mako gets over here to winch us out. Here he comes. Yep, yep. That's good. Yep. Keep pushing. Oh, I think. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Oh, my gosh. Uh, We don't really care about damaging our snowplow equipment because we'll just buy new ones. You know, that's kind of how it works. We make a lot of good money at this, uh, this business. So we just buy new equipment. So don't worry about him. So let's go ahead. We got to push this snowbank back through the front gate. There we go. Oh, my gosh. This is so tough on the truck. I think we're going to have to bring the snowblower out again. Oh, watch out. Oh, my gosh. Hey, you got a backup camera on that thing, man. Be careful. All righty. There we go. Yeah, guys, we're going to finish cleaning up this our own parking lot, and then we're going to head out to some other ones. We're almost done. I think he's going to, you know, do up here. He Oh, he put it on the front. Oh, you have a PTO on the front, too? That's awesome. All right, let's do a little. Let's watch Mako do this. Come on. We're going to give you a, one, a scale 1 to 10 on your snowblowing skills. Here we go. Go. All right. He's already messed up. I don't know where you're blowing that in front of you. Come on. Angle that to the side. There you go. Look at that thing. That's a beast. We should get another one, Mako. You want another one? Maybe. Maybe we'll get a bigger tractor. Yeah, we should get like a 9RX with dual snowblowers. Oh, that'd be sweet. So any direction you'd go, it would just be snowblowing. All right. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, we have to, yo, we have to work a little harder for that. It's going to be an expensive tractor. But there we go. All right, we got a nice little path paved through. Check out the snow banks. Wow. I think we're going to start renting out some ski passes. People can come ski down the hills. Not literally, but yeah. All right, we're going to head out and do some snow plowing, some snow blowing. Uh, we're going to follow you, Mac. Oh, you said the first parking lot's in the next town over by the baseball field or something? Uh, yeah. 
All right, yeah, we'll head over there. We'll get that knocked out really quick. Uh, let's see, garage door opener. Let's close the garage door. There we go. Garage is closing. All right, we're good to head out here, but check it out. The Oshkosh, even though it may get stuck, you know, it is a good-looking vehicle for snow plowing. Oh, there we go. And it's also very safe. This thing weighs 10,000 pounds. You know, it's five tons. That's a lot. All right, we got to take a left here. Mako's already ahead of us, but we'll catch up to him. He is in a tractor, so, you know, we'll get there. The city looks like they've been done a pretty good job with salt in the roads, keeping them plowed, so that's good. I can see they're starting to ice over, though, a little bit. See down the middle there? So we might have to, you know, have them come ice it or uh, actually, like, put salt down so it doesn't ice, I'm saying, because we actually do some of the jobs around the city. We do some city contracts, so I'll have to give them a call and see if they want us to salt again. I got this new dump bed. We could pour some salt in the back here. I think maybe that's what we'll do. And then uh, the spreader hooks up to the back. It's pretty cool. Look at the snow out here. People's cars are just stuck in the snow. Might have to do some snow rescue later. This is looking pretty crazy. But all right, we're pulling into my buddy's trucking business. If you don't remember, American Product Logistics. This is my buddy's lot. He just likes to, you know, have a quick plow because he's got semi trucks. Oh, here we got to put down our plow. Oh my gosh. There we go. We got it going here, Mac. Oh, look at this thing. It actually works pretty good once you get it going in a straight line. All right, let's back up here. Maybe we'll get a snowblower and put it on the front of that Oshkosh. Oh, yeah, we could get a snowblower for this truck. That might work better, but... All right, we're going to drop this down. I'm going to angle it towards you, and then you can get the pile on the other side. There we go. That way, he can just create that pile and push it all the way back to right there. Perfect. If you guys enjoy snowplowing videos, make sure you drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because, you know, we really enjoy these videos. And if you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button. All right, we're almost done with this lot. I think Mac is going to do one more pass, and then we got to move on to this empty lot right here. This is a little factory. Uh, they're like a soda company, so we have to, you know, just clean it up. They're always running 24-7. You know, it's a food service business, so they're always working. We got to make sure their, you know, their parking lot's cleared in time for the semis for their pickup and deliveries. There we go. Let's see if we can knock this out on our own because, I don't know, I feel like Mako's doing all the work with that snowblower. All right, there we go. Okay, I can get so much done. And then we get to a point where the truck starts to drive over the snowbank. So this isn't the best truck for the job. But here, I might switch with Mako and just test out that snowblower. I want to know how, how it works before I buy another one. But, like, see how, like, once we get to a certain point, you can only push so much snow. This is a lot. Two feet of snow in one night. That's a crazy amount. All right, let's go over here. We're going to clear by this truck thing, the little van. Let's see, let's back up, readjust the plow. We can angle it. We can raise it up, raise it down. So let's go ahead and angle it towards the right side. All right, let's drop down. There we go. I think we just got to go with slow speeds, and it should work good. All righty, we switched with Mako real quick. I was getting tired of that Oshkosh. That thing's an old piece of junk. So, all right, we had to, yes, yeah, switch it to the snowblower, and we got a little bit more work to do, but check this thing out. It's working so good. Got the suspension finally. That Oshkosh doesn't even have suspension on it. All right, there we go. Raise it up. We click auxiliary one for that. And then we can turn around and then start going the other direction. All right, we can actually angle it up and then we can turn it straight. That should throw it far enough to where it goes all the way to the side. Look at that. It's completely throwing it to the other side of the parking lot. And we don't need that side, so it's perfect. Here we go. Hey, I'm coming in for assistance, Mako. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Just eat it up. Ready? Pile is gone. All right, let's raise up the snowblower. Hey, you think we should sell that thing, Mako? That thing does not work good at all. That Oshkosh. I'll buy it. I'll have it in my house. You want one? You want to buy it off me? I don't want it. That thing doesn't even work. Sure, I'll give you 500 bucks for it. 500? Man, I paid 30 grand. All right, fine. Keep the plow. Keep the plow. All right, deal. Keep the plow. That uh, thing's the only value on that truck. Okay, I'm going home. All right, see you later, Mako. Thanks for helping out today. Uh, snowblower, man, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Hey, maybe get a snowblower for that thing. It might work a little better. Maybe. I'll have to get my truck out of the... Yeah. Oh, my truck's going to be so stuck at the shop. Yeah, yeah, maybe you'll have to dig out your truck. All righty, well, see you later, buddy. See you later. All right, guys, we're going to finish up this lot, and then I think that's it on today's agenda. We don't have much to do because we're going to wait till later to come into the other lots. We got a, a bunch knocked out in the middle of the night, and then just, you know, throughout the day we maintain it because it's still snowing out, which is crazy. I can't believe it's not stopped by now, but, yeah, it's still snowing out, and, yeah, there we go. I think this lot is pretty much good. 
They're able to get the semis back here to those three doors. They can get them back to the side door there. There's two side doors, main door. I think maybe we should just clean this part up here. We'll be good to go. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to head back to the shop, get everything cleaned up. we got to figure out how to get this plow back. And I think I'm just going to push it back. There we go. But yeah, thanks for watching today's video, guys. Remember, drop a thumbs up if you want to see more plowing videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.